standpoint and just on a personal level is a fantastic individual and who has been very genuine in his love for this place uh, I think that it's it's an interesting and compelling selection as far as who the assistant coaches are endorsing okay well we'll stay tuned every day something else <laughs> breaks doesn't it thanks you know you even had Hillary Clinton looking in yes, to see what was going on with the turmoil at UH with all she's going through too still that interested amazing we're referring to that <laughs> picture of her that popped up when Cano was doing yes, the sports. Yes, that right. glitch. Yes, thanks, Cano. <laughs> You're welcome. Finally tonight, did you know... AIG Advantage. As the search continues to replace the departed June Jones as head coach of the Warrior football team, reliable sources close to the situation have defensive coordinator Greg McMackin as a possible front runner for the job. How's it going, everybody? Now, Coach Mack had been confirmed as joining Dan Morrison and Wes Swan as following Jones to Dallas. However, with encouragement by remaining Warrior players and coaches, it appears that McMackin may have a desire to become the 21st coach in Hawaii football history. Now, in two seasons with Hawaii, Warriors are undefeated in road games and have won two conference championships. He turned a Warrior defense ranked 93rd in 2006 to 33rd nationally in 07, leading the Western Athletic Conference in sacks with 39 and logged five defensive touchdowns. We'd be sure to keep you posted as this story develops. One day after the Warrior football team lost head coach June Jones, 2007 all-conference wideout Ryan Grice Mullins has declared for the NFL draft. Sources say he also signed with an agent, thus ending his Warrior career. Now in his third season at UH, RGM hauled in 106 catches for 1,372 yards and 13 touchdowns. He joins fellow underclassman slotback Devon Best, who entered the draft last week. On the other side of things, one day after expressing his uncertainty to return for his senior season, all-conference linebacker Adam Leonard told KITV Today that he will not enter the NFL draft and suit up for the Warriors in 2008. Now, Leonard is coming off a season where he logged 105 tackles, two sacks, and four interceptions, including taking two of them for touchdowns. Number 44 is one of three starting linebackers expected to return next season, joining Solomon Elamimian and Blaze Suarez. Here's a look. Well, there was supposed to be a look at the 2008 Warrior recruits, according to Scout.com. And with the letter of intent signing day still a month away, verbal commits to Hawaii has J.C. Whiteout, a trail snipes. He's tops of the list as a four-star four prospect. Reports have surfaced in Texas that Katie High School quarterback Bo Mitchell may be looking to switching to SMU now that now the head coach is in Dallas, June Jones. Now, calls have been made out to all the players on this list, and we were able to catch up with Damian defensive back Christian Vasconcelos. You can see the list on KITV.com. We saw where he stands as a warrior now without a head coach. After hearing that June Jones has left the program, does that change your commitment at all? Uh, for me right now, no. I'm pretty much still strong for what, what I said earlier. That, um, I'm pretty much committed to University of Hawaii. It doesn't really affect me that much. It sucks to lose a great coach like Gene Jones, but uh, like what I said, I, I'm most likely on the defensive side. So for me, it's, it won't really affect my, um, my decision. We also talked with Damian teammate, defensive end Haku Correa today, who narrowed his collegiate choices down to San Diego State, Arizona, and Hawaii. Have the Warriors fallen off with so many questions to be answered? Well, I'm not really sure what's going to happen with that, but um, I want to wait. I want to see what happens, what's the outcome, and what's the situation going to be, and all that kind of stuff before I make my decision. So there's a, there's a possibility. Both players were all state selections in 2007. Correa takes his recruiting trip to Arizona this month. National Letter of Intent signing day is set for February 6th. Oh, wow. Gosh, you kind of hope these local recruits stick around because the next coach, the next administration will reap the benefits of what June Jones was complaining about, Exactly. Right? UH officials have said that what June wanted will be taken care of. So it mm. looks like, you know, they will be able to take yeah. advantage of that and they will have those facilities that June Jones always wanted. And you're talking about Greg McMackin is so far the front runner now? There are well, other I mean, names there, on that there, list, right? It's a hot topic on campus that, mm. that he looks to be the front runner and he definitely has the support of Warrior players mm. and the other coaches on staff. He has not come out and said that he wants the job but a lot of people are backing him, a lot of people want to see him. The interesting thing there is that he was the head coach at Oregon Tech from 1986 to 1990. Ron Lee was his offensive coordinator. Wow, okay, also Norm Chow, Dwayne Aquina, uh, Dick Tomey. Dick Tomey's on that list. Kevin yeah, Gilbride. Exactly, and there's a lot of people who we yeah. haven't talked about that their names are floating around as yeah. well. Yeah, we'll see what names pop up tomorrow. I think tomorrow Sean King's name came Sean up in <laughs> Justin yeah. Fujioka's offensive coordinator. They have the water boy there already taken care of. <laughs> For me, not Justin. He can do the offensive calls. I don't know. Anyway, that'll do it.